New video. Hi guys. Uh, we just showed you what our morning routine looks like at the stables we are renting, which is the stables where I've always kept my stallions. Um, and now it's time to show you uh, the nighttime routine. And especially today, it's a rainy days nighttime routine. A lot of you find this, I don't know, very relaxing and soothing to watch. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we begin. I don't know why a lot of you guys find these videos extremely therapeutic. It's kind of like an ASMR moment, which I fully understand because I love making these kind of videos. Um, so I'm going to guide you guys through our kind of evening slash nighttime routine. As you can see, we get to the stables in the late afternoon. Uh, usually the girls that work for us will handle this part of the day as well. But today um, we are doing it. So I'm bringing you guys along. First thing I do is I just go down the breezeway and I do a general head count and check that everyone's standing, everyone's healthy. Um, just really quickly throw my eyes on all the horses. Um, a few of the clients' horses have already arrived, so the stable's filling up. We're actually full um, and we have people already on a waiting list, which has been um, really, really nice to see that there's, there's been good feedback about having clients with us. I open the back door and then I head towards Emporio. Sadly, Emporio got a laceration in the eye. So to put it simply, he has a cut or scratch in his eye. So I am cleaning the area up because he's still, um, it's kind of oozing still. So I'm putting in some medication, but I would just like to prep and get the area cleaned. I have these eye drops, which is an antibiotic um, drop, and I'm just placing it in the eye once a day for now. Um, you can see he's quite easy to do everything with. Um, and then I've been keeping his hair tied up, um, making sure it stays out of the way, that way it's not bothering the eye, and that the forelock is also plaited up. Um, next thing is halter goes on, and usually all the horses go in the walker. You look like someone who's looking to either make a website or um, run your website on a better platform, then Squarespace is where you need to be. Squarespace offers hundreds of already made templates where you can go in, uh, pick your favorite one, still customize everything you want. You don't need to have any coding knowledge. It's super user friendly. I run my shop on there. I've been running my website on Squarespace for almost four years now. Um, I truly, truly love the user experience. It's so easy to use on the go as well. You can make quick changes on your phone, whether it's updating stock levels, changing text, or uh, changing the photos as well. If this sounds like what you're looking for, then do use my link, which is www.squarespace.com slash madharniki. In doing so, you'll receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. We had a lot of rain the last couple of days, so the horses have had a bit of a different routine. So they've been having uh, time in the paddock rather than the field. So it's great in the afternoon to get them out again. Um, into the walk, I get them all stretching and I do the stallions first. So Emporio goes in, um, I always leave a space in between um, or two and then I get Etro and he also goes into the walker so he can have a bit of a stretch and that also frees up the stables so I can clean the stables better while they're gone. We do clean the stables twice a day if um, they haven't been on the field because they do get a little bit uh, dirty and we always want to make sure the horses sleep on a clean bed. So while the horses are now in the walker, you can see they're very happy in there. Like they, they always go in together. They're really comfortable. This is kind of what the stables look like. The horses have been out several hours into the paddock, so they're not really bad. Uh, but I still want to get in there and just get out the manure. That way when they lay down and stuff, they'll have a nice clean bed. This is just Etros and Emporios, so you can see kind of what, what it's looking like. And you can see everyone else's head waiting for their turn to go into the walker. Um, I don't use a wheelbarrow, I use this thing, which um, we attach onto our machine and it's really easy to tip. Um, and it stores a lot more so I can do the whole breezeway with just one because I'm only taking out the poo. The pee we do only once a day, but the poo is the, the one we do twice a day. So I'm just going around and just kind of hand picking uh, and getting everything out that's dirty and then I'm straightening out all the beds so that are evenly placed. Um, and then this is Etro stable. They don't, it actually doesn't take very long. If I find a really big pea patch, I'll take that out too. Um, but I'm focusing on just getting the, the poo out and then I'm straightening out the stables again. So it's nice and fluffy and it's even. Um, and then I just slowly make my way through the barn. Some horses um, were out at a later stage, so their um, stables are a bit cleaner. Some went out in the morning, uh, so then there's a little bit dirtier. But nevertheless, everyone gets uh, cleaned and Wesley is the last one. Um, 
it's really handy having this uh, system like this because it means that I can fit everything in one go. Um, and usually I actually don't empty this. Um, we fill it up completely in the morning and then it gets tipped then. Otherwise I've got to get all the machines out again and we've already uh, cleaned the, um, the area around the poo pile. So I just leave it in this uh, bucket for now. Um, and yeah, we'll empty it in the morning. Next is I do the hay run uh, because the horses have been in and out of the stables they've already eaten some of the hay and we always want to make sure that they have hay 24 7 so everyone's getting a nice uh, refill and refresh they're always very happy to see this uh, this trolley um, here I was trying to get an artsy shot maybe broke my camera um, and Wesley's always the last one um, but we have him in this stable because he's retired and he is in front of the area where we tack up. So he gets the most activity seeing all the other, all the other horses. I always make sure to put everything away, put everything back on charge. That way in the morning, everything's set for the girls uh, when they have to get started. Uh, by this time, it's been about half an hour and Emporio and Etro can come out of the walker. Um, and the next horses go in in their place. They're both very eager to go back. Meanwhile, while the horses are going in and out of the walker, I'm just getting around and doing these tasks like cleaning the wash bay. So the next day, everything is ready to go. I find it so satisfying just sweeping and seeing everything come clean, especially now on video like this. Um, and then I go into the tack locker area. I clean all of that. Um, I just make sure that it's all swept. We are also at the same time running the water in the arena so it doesn't get too dusty. And then you guys might have seen this machine from my uh, morning routine video. Uh, very handy. We push everything to one side and then we sweep it all up. If it's dirty, it goes in the bin or in the wheelbarrow or we just put it away in the stable. Um, then I'm just doing the washing, putting everything that's already washed in the dryer um, and letting that run. And then if needed, I'll fill another um, load for the washing and, and do that. Now you can see it's considerably later because by the time we get all of this done, it does take quite some time. Uh, yes is now here and he's helping with the, with the feeding. All the horses kind of have their own diet. They're all eating hartog and they're all looking really, really good on it. We're feeding the condition pellets and the lucerna and then every horse has their little extra bits and bobs that they get. Like my horses uh, are getting supplements from Global Medics. Um, Etro's getting the promotion. Um, and uh, Emporia is getting the RT Sport, which is kind of like um, general uh, joint supplement for horses uh, in top sport. Um, and I've been really, really loving having him on him. I've felt a really big difference and Etro as well on, on his supplement. And it's palatable, which is, uh, which is nice. And this is me trying to go backwards without looking where I'm going. Um, and surprisingly, I didn't hit anyone. Now I'm getting the feed ready for, there's one horse that has to have his feed wet and it needs to sit overnight wet. So I'm getting that ready for the morning. Uh, in the meantime, yes, is doing the hay again. This is the final hay run. So they have hay throughout the whole night. Um, and I have a cream that I also have to put in Emporio's eye. Honestly, having an eye injury has not been fun at all and it's been very stressful, but I'm hoping that if I do my part right, it will heal correctly. Again, I'm cleaning the area and then these tubes are awful they're awful to try and get it in the eye um, I got a good tip from my vet that if you I haven't I'm not doing it here but if you warm it up a little either in your hand or in your pocket for a while it's much easier to apply it to the eye so that's a tip for all of you guys that might be suffering with with this all the horses are naked but Emporio gets somehow really cold at night uh, like in the morning his hair is up and he's cold to the touch so I put a light rug on him from Katago um, yeah now, <laughs> the next order of business is I'm suspecting that Etro has ulcers. So I'm giving him some gastro guard. This is a treatment you do for a couple of weeks and hopefully it should uh, get rid of the ulcer. One of the signs of it was that he's been dunking hay uh, into the water, which can be a sign. Um, so I'm trying to treat him for that. Then that's it. We're locking up the stables. We're waving and saying goodbye and good night to the horses. The alarm goes on. There's alarm on the whole property. So if it's triggered, it calls um, a security team that then alerts us. So either if a horse is loose or someone's on the property that shouldn't be there. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and, and sharing the nighttime routine with us. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.